Hello there, Eric Becker, naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher and formulator of the Candida Dietary Supplements. I'm going to do another case history, and this is going to be my case history. It's going to be quite different, okay? This is a 25-year-old guy called Eric Becker in 1986. He was, well, he was just turning 26 in 1986. So this is my own personal story. You might like to hear my personal story on how I came to really uh, develop a, a burning passion for helping people like you out there with Candida, all right? Right. You may like to hear my own personal story of the yeast infection I used to have when I was in my 20s. I used to live by myself in a small house in a place called Brisbane in Australia. And this little house was in a suburb that was prone to flooding. It was cheap rent and I was working in a flour mill at the time. I'd been living on my own for about five years at that point. One week I would work the day shift, one week I'd work the afternoon shift, and the following week I would work the night shift. I started to feel increasingly stressed and tired and one winter developed a bad cough and got worse to the point where I took an antibiotic. My little house was cold and damp and I had to bail out water out of my bedroom after it rained heavily. Well, I did tell you it was cheap rain. The walls were covered in a thin moist film that I later discovered was mold. My diet wasn't the best at times. I was craving sweet foods, takeout and lots of bread. My bowels were either blocked or I was experiencing diarrhea and lots of gas. I felt terrible and my health was going downhill fast. My skin started to get itchy and I developed a bad case of athlete's foot and jock itch. To give you the background on all this, a few years prior, I had 13 amalgam fillings replaced over a period of two weeks in 1983. I started to notice that my health was beginning to deteriorate and by early 85 I was feeling increasingly anxious. I developed skin rashes, athlete's foot and many manifestations of a candida yeast infection all unbeknown to me at the time, including very strong sweet cravings. I had issues with my girlfriend who thought I was a hypochondriac because my health had deteriorated to the point where I had to seek medical help. But the doctor was of little help because all the test results came back normal and he wanted me to see a psychiatrist. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I knew that there was something undermining my health and I couldn't put a finger on it until I read The Yeast Connection by Dr. William Crook and then later I read The Missing Diagnosis by Dr. Orion Truss. I've read about 50 books since then on Candida. <coughs> but the, but the, the first one by Crook was quite a good book. My girlfriend at the time started to doubt me and told me that my problems were all in my head. A view strongly supported by her mother and that I needed to wake up to myself, see a shrink and take antidepressants. I decided to end that unsupportive relationship and move out of our flat and had a garage sale a few weekends later to downsize. A naturopath was looking through some of my gear at a garage sale and asked me why I had dark circles under my eyes. I told her about my health and the first thing she told me was to get a hair analysis to determine the mercury levels because she thought that you know, the mercury fillings being them re replaced it could have caused a problem and she said there may have been a connection there with that in the candida. I went to see her and she showed, and showed her Dr. Crook's book and what she said made a heck of a lot of sense. And I started getting treatment for my yeast infection. Unfortunately, she didn't walk me through a proper mercury detoxification. And I felt actually very, very sick. And I had bad Herxheimer reaction. I had a lot of vomiting and diarrhea for quite a few weeks. And this is, in fact, one of the lowest points in my life when at one point I, I considered taking my own life because I was so unsupported. No one wanted to listen to me. I felt terrible. The doctor told me I was nuts. My mother said I was crazy. My girlfriend didn't listen. Is it any wonder people jump off bridges or, 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 or do, you know, do crazy things? If no one's there to listen to you at all, you know, all the doors get closed in your face. There's no support at all. What's the point in there in living even? So when you're at your lowest point, often that's a turning point, and it was for me, right? So this is something I wouldn't wish upon anybody. My whole world came crashing down around me. I had no girlfriend, my girlfriend's mother, and even my own mother thought I was nuts. I was unemployed, and I felt absolutely terrible. How much worse could it get? After many hours of reading and studying, I, and it took over a year to get my life back, and that's when I started to get into naturopathy. I started to really study and think, you know, I've got to really do something with my life. I've got to help other people out too. So I went on a very careful dietary regime of steamed vegetables, of lean proteins, of eggs, free-range eggs. I started to realize I had to build my health from the inside out. I got rid of that stupid job. 
I never went back to doctors. In fact, the last doctor I saw was back in 1985, I think. That's the last time I've seen a doctor. So I started to realize that relaxation was a key thing for me too because I was a very anxious person with obsessive compulsive traits and I overcame a lot of that through relaxation. In the early to mid 80s, healthcare professionals didn't see candida as any kind of problem and naturopaths treated it as a very basic kind of a problem. So basically you left to sort out your own mess. So I met my new partner, or partner I got today back then, who was very encouraging, and she said, Eric, you need to study this stuff and help other people out, because for every person like you, there's probably 10,000 out there that would never, ever help themselves. And since having regained my health and not having candida back again, my health is just improving decade after decade. I'll be 55 this year, and I feel absolutely awesome. I feel completely amazing. And it's all to do with relaxation, eating good foods, understanding the principles of naturopathy, you know, fresh air, clean water, um, open and honest communication with people, avoiding bad people, things like that. So there's many things you can do to improve your own health. But what I want you to get from this video is not to doubt yourself. If you've got candida and no one is listening to you, if nobody believes you, if you've got skin problems and gut problems, go and see someone who's willing to listen to you and, and give you some good advice. Because there are a lot of people out there that are expert at treating these conditions. That's why I became an expert, so I could help people. I got sick and tired of not being listened to or believed in by people. And as a lot of my patients that see me today from many countries tell me a very similar story, and your story might be the same, all right? If you haven't already done so, please do my quiz. Go to candidacrusher.com, do my online, take the quiz. Check out yeastinfection.org. I set that site up for people just like you. And also consider my Kanzida range of dietary supplements. It's C-A-N-X-I-D-A. I would have loved Kanzida when I was in my 20s. It would have really helped me overcome my yeast infection much faster, you know, sooner rather than later. Because I mucked around with a lot of people taking all sorts of crappy supplements and drugs, and I got nowhere for a long time. Candida Crush was written for people like me. So I hope that if you've got a yeast infection problem, uh, that you're not going to waste a lot of time, you know, and even have doubts about your own sanity and maybe even have feelings like I have of not wanting to live any longer. So the book was written for people like that. So I hope this has given you a bit of insight into why I wrote Candida Crusher. Thank you for tuning in.